Uh, but we'll move on. I haven't got anything lined up for Belly of the Week 553 regarding the intro. So let's find something quickly here, shall we? The original Belly of the Week theme. That sounds as good as any. Let's play that then. Classic Tony dragging him back out. He's out the jungle now and he's back in civilization. I love it, Andy. The old uh, theme tune for Belly of the Week. Yeah, it's good stuff. You can see the Tony out the, out the jungle. By the way, can I just say something like, uh, see how these um, these women tend to like, watch this, these fucking reality shows and that. Those women mm-hmm. are what we come in and says, oh, I've got a bit of a crush on Tony Bellew. I'm like, oh, fucking hell. I hope your fucking car has a max on the way up the road, then. <laughs> fucking hell. Mr. Vacant Belt. Oh, my word. He says, why? He says, oh, I don't know. He says, he's just got that. I says, oh, fucking, I'm away for a cup of coffee, man. I'm kind of listening to this in uh, <laughs> It's as simple as that, believe you me. Let's move on then. Uh, Sonny <laughs> Edwards was back on Twitter. Loves a bit of Twitter, or X as they call it these days. He says, yo, uh, bam, beat my ass. And Liam Freeman jumped in and said, chin up, brother. It was one of the most entertaining bouts of the year. Only elevates your global brand. They are, Matty. Hitting stateside, Sonny's global brand has been elevated in defeat. Absolutely. And uh, it, it's interesting to see somebody who's trying to challenge Caleb Plant for the blackest man in boxing, too. Well, <laughs> did end up with a black eye. <laughs> Done his best, didn't they? Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Not so they. Doesn't get the date with the goat, though, Andy. That's the problem. He's he fucking just as gone. well, mate. He's just as well. That's a whole lot of women he doesn't want to be handling. The goat would get to, I suppose. Fucking Jesus, man. <laughs> He might be able to knock the quote out if the footage that we saw during the week is anything to go by. Well, aye, but I, I, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I, I, was, <laughs> la- I was laughing. Though. I was just laughing. I was listening. I was watching Boxing News's uh, interview with Sonny uh, Edwards. And somebody put a comment and it says, that UK I resist- that UK I resistance, though, eh? Aye. How many? That's about four or five of your fighters now. It's been absolutely smashed, uh, oh, smashed absolutely. out the bones and that yeah. as well. Eh? Getting smashed in the eyes. It's not good. Uh, DAZN, rank the all-time scariest boxers. They are a bit of a troll, aren't they, DAZN? Valuev, Liston, Tyson, Holyfield, Hopkins, Duran, Dillian White. <laughs> I, I tell you what, if you ask Uncle Elvis, by the way, it would be fucking B-Hop. <laughs> He's class, isn't he? DAZN, man, flip me. Oh, what was going on? Isn't it, isn't it well, Clifford, Clifford Etienne who was in jail for killing a guy? Yeah. Oh, Clifford Etienne, yeah, that's right. You know, he, well, he was in jail, wasn't he, for years for robbing, didn't he rob armed robbery? And then he come out, fought Tyson, made all that money, and then decided he loved the jail life that much. He, I think he's back in again for the rest of his life now. I, I think so. I think he might have killed a guy, and that's why he's in again. Maybe I'm wrong. I just um, maybe might just be a guy with a lengthy criminal record, but that's a name from the past. Just killed a guy, man. Maybe people are harsh these days, aren't they? Poor old Clifford Etienne. Can't get a break. Yep. Matty agrees. Yeah, I'm not going to yeah. say it. I'm, I'm <laughs> holding my tongue, baby. I could, I, oh, fuck, I'm not saying it. There's one for you, Matty. The big man, Nigel Farage, with Derek Watchers all. I'm not sure what's going on with that picture or not. But they seem like they're having fun. That's the main thing. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. <laughs> and I don't like this timeline at all. Fucking stop the world and let me off, all right? <laughs> Oh, which is always good value in your man, flip me. Uh, here we are, talking about good value, Danny. I know you're a Sky Sports fan. Our boxer mascot. Can't get enough of a rock, <laughs> rocking Bournemouth. This, I can't remember what you call this guy, but I'll tell you what, boxing's dead, isn't it, man? Kill the sport well, now. No, it's good to see Shannon Courtney come out of retirement, to be honest with you. So she's, <laughs> nice. she's looking well there. She's looking well. So, yeah, good, good. fair play to her. Fair play. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
with a filter on as well. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> <laughs> Boy and Ben Shalom. He's doing his best. Uh, John Fury, a uh, tip of the iceberg. John, Tyson Fury's father, John, arrives at court with a pair accused of dodging £82,000 tax bill. Uh, Barry Puma says, dirty, disgusting man. But then undisputed Fury jumps in with a bit of a defence there. He says, right too. Everyone paying far too much tax, cost of living crisis, price of everything's doubled overnight. Prices on everything gone through the roof. Oh, fucking bollocks, man. <laughs> Move to Scotland, you can't be fucking tax bills, man. Fuck me. You English cunts are fucking all right. You come up here and you'll get the fucking tax. <laughs> fucking, oh, I'm going to, then I get me started, man. I'm telling no. you. <laughs> I just, I just, I just want. I'm just interested to find out, like you know, when they actually find out that 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 uh, that money was on John Fisher's uh, Chinese bill, and not <laughs> tax, um, a tax bill. So yeah. <laughs> I've heard from John Fisher lately, actually. People do send me videos of him, but I've kind of got fed up now because the John Fisher train has well and truly stopped. Oh, him. so you haven't got that video that someone put in the chat this week? It was. I, I don't super... think so. No. Oh, no. what a shame! Never no. mind. All right. The no train has stopped because it's over its weight limit. <laughs> exactly. He's just, he's, just, he's, just a fat guy. he's just a fat guy who sits on Instagram. I mean, he's Chinese. That's his own words, actually. So maybe about dried up. Maybe the Chinese is about to do business. I'm probably off at my window. You know, every, every, prices are going up, mate. You never know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, too much tax. Uh, Royal Boxing says he's talking about Ben against Haney. He says, I think Ben would struggle down the stretch, but early on, you cannot deny Ben is lightning fast and could catch Haney. And yeah, I do believe Ben hits hard. This is not a mismatch. Let's not Shut be silly. Shut the fuck up, man. Can you imagine Haney coming up on an additional seven pounds and fighting Conor Ben? Fuck sake. I mean, some, I, I forget who it was I was reading that. So I think Haney put on something like 24 pounds overnight. Yeah. He must have been, what was so good have been he? But what, 160-ish? It was 165 on fight. Is it one, yeah, 165. Fucking, that's middleweight territory. That. That's crazy weight, mate. Can you imagine I'm going to 147? They would fucking ruin Ben. Make it happen. Yeah. Let's see him fight Con. Fucking mismatch. Fuck, Jesus. Well, there he is. There's Ben. Uh, Boxing Social saying, listen to Frank Warren's full interview on Spotify. And Connor jumped in and says, don't give it the big one now because you found someone to finally pay your fighters on time, you fish-eyed prick. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no boy beating around the bush from Connor Ben there. Going in on Frank, Andy, man. It's a bit harsh, isn't it, there? Uncle Frank will be sitting just keep my mental note of that one. I think he got deleted apparently. I did it. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised <laughs> I, because uh, Uncle Frank, as you know, mate, will have the could have the, the allegedly have the legal team on retainer. Just press that, you know, press nine for an outside call and be a problem, pal. <laughs> Get got, got, Swithers, got, release the hounds. <laughs> Got a Windows 95 fired up for that word processor <laughs> to get that letter written. <laughs> he's, he's, he's still using carbon paper, mate. <laughs> yeah, probably. He's fucking... He's <laughs> giving him the pink slip. <laughs> uh, Amish boy. Pen and paper time. Oh, dear. Get man. this floppy disk to the postal car- carrier. Post haste. <laughs> Oh, Frank, we love Frank on this show. Uh, Tony Bellew has moved into a different territory now. Uh, Tony Bellew posts cryptic video about fake friends after I'm a celeb feud claims. Oh, Awkward God. as OK Magazine. magazine. <laughs> We're jumping in on Tony's life now. Oh, <laughs> mate, I'll buy this one 25 grand, please. Cha-ching. Leave oh. him alone. Jesus Christ. Well, even he's playing the game, he's doing the grift. Earning, earning that corn. Disappeared into OK Magazine, as you do. Oh, then he's watching it now. My, no, my no, daughter no. gave up on it after like two episodes. No, I don't. I ain't watching that shit, man. I don't watch yeah. any telly, but I definitely ain't watching that. I'm the that. same, mate. I, I fucking... They, they tell it for me either. I like. barely watched Bell U when he was boxing. I'm not going to watch him on I'm a Celebrity. Anyway, here you are, Matty. Breaking. Uh, weed Boxing Championship to return to Koh Samoy. It, it, its first edition was cancelled at the last minute by Thai authorities who shit themselves, clearly. The promotion is back at it again, saying there will be new announcements in its own words soon. Where weed was legalised in Thailand in 2022, blah, blah, blah. The controversial event has attracted worldwide attention thanks to its unique concept where fighters get high before stepping into the ring, Matty. It got called off, but it's back on again, apparently. Well, I could probably add, if we want to get Matty over there to, to contest in it, I could probably set up, set up some merchandise for him. Just to make him look the part. Matty 100% wins that, by the way. I I think that I absolutely uh, have what it takes to compete in this, and uh, I'm disappointed that they cancelled the first one, but uh, let's let's see how this whole thing goes. Uh, 
You know, I think they ought to be lenient on it. I mean, let's be honest. This is a country whose national sport consists of repeatedly kicking your opponent in the shins. So, you know, let people get high and punch each other. What's the big fucking deal? The great thing is, too, man, you'd be gassed after, like, 40 seconds. And that's when it's like, it's, 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 it comes down to instantly the battle of the hardcore. Who's willing to, who's willing to sacrifice? Do you sit on your stool in between rounds and get fed, like, what, what tits and stuff? <laughs> of a puff and that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, man. Oh, yeah, fucking munch. Matty could be undisputed at 135, says MB. I don't think you're missing yeah, 135. You cut off, no, 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 cut no, off my left not. leg. No, I mean, you're talking 1,135. <laughs> 235. Poor Matty. We support him. Is that, is that grams, is it? 135 <laughs> grams. <laughs> <laughs> that was Eddie's here, there. Cutting 135 nice and easy. Eddie slid into Javonta's uh, DMs. He said, let's talk. Davey says, no, and then took a screenshot. <laughs> Fantastic. Getting told where to go. I, I, I'd imagine that's what you tried with Robert Smith. Robert Smith says, speak to your lawyer, Eddie. Mm-hmm. Talk to you. Javonta did doing the Lord's work this week, wasn't he? Like, he was probably going in on Eddie and a few others as well. He was, yeah, he was going in on Ben as well. There we are. Eddie, There's Connor. Yeah. He says, don't mention me, Javonta, and your little crossfire, you little dwarf woman beater. He's fair, he got void rage, and he, and he con. Hey man, he's, he's raging this week. Got in on egg, little Javonta. Egg, excellent comeback. <laughs> says D Mac, I know. But then, how's he not fighting Boots? Boots is still waiting for the opponent. Why is Ben not calling it Boots? Mm, that'd be an absolute massacre. I wouldn't be averse to that fight. Should yeah, make it happen. But, yeah, but didn't for, I'd pay for that. I'll let you see that. Mm-hmm. Stanionis. Bit Stanionis as yeah, well. Yeah, Stanionis wouldn't mind that either. Virgil yeah. Ortiz is returning next month. Nah, I'm yep. kind of trust Ortiz, mate, to stay fit at this point. Yeah, Boots, he's been out for two years. That's right. Boots, Stanionis, but. We'll probably get killed, Brook or something. Perturbiev. Like Catch weight with Perturbiev. Yeah. Wouldn't mind seeing Perturbiev, that. Perturbiev at 135. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, this, this, Andy. this is, this is glorious. Shields reacts to leaked spying footage of mailboxes and popping her. See, that's right. I actually, uh, there's, there's an interview with the trainer of that. That is Artem, I forget the guy's name at this point. It was a Ukrainian. Uh, there he is, Arthur Ametov or something yeah. like that. Uh, so this trainer, is it Derek Santos? Derek Santos, it, yeah. He came out detailed response and that uh, very measured actually in, in, in his response. Uh, the quote has since deleted the the tweet saying that the pad had been removed, not shit. So clearly the lawyers have been on the phone. He ain't interested in having a, a, a verbal sit down face to face, as he says himself. Kept it quite measured, and he says clearly from previous previous uh, events, obviously relating to that time when what was the old boy's name? He got, he got, he got smashed up. Oh yes, James, um, James Ali Bashir was it? Uh, James Ali Bashir, yeah, yeah. He he got he got a doing off one of Shields's team. Then you've had uh, Unk smashing up uh, someone oh, in yeah. the corner oh, as well. So yeah, clearly a complete mess. And basically, uh, your, your man Santos has went to the the the, um, the boxer here and says, Look, "Why did you do it?" Why did you release the video? He says, I'm fucking fed up. Fed up with her talking shit, saying she could beat Keith Furman and all these men and stuff like that. So I just decided to put it out there. Shut her up. And, uh, yeah, great to see. So, I mean, come on. Can you imagine Keith fucking Furman landing that left hook on Clarissa Shields, man? Fucking. You bet the morgue. Genuine question. How difficult is it to remove padding from a glove? Like, it must be fucking... Difficult, right? Well, the guy ruining the, the glove. No, it's not difficult. But what he says that the, the, the guy explained about the gloves that uh, that were there. The gloves were checked. There was people in that gym from her team. Um, so as I says, he had he, he clearly matched. He said, "Look, the gloves were there. They could have been inspected. There were sixteen ounce gloves because she had apparently mentioned the gloves after she got dropped, and she showed they got showed to the team that there were normal sixteen ounce sparring gloves." I think the spar yeah, I... before that was apparently a foam, a foam. So he'd actually used two different sets of gloves over a couple of days. The first one was quite amateur gloves, which were quite padded, but the other ones were, I think, pro sparring gloves. But there were sixty legalized sixteen ounce gloves, which which are meant to be in sparring. As I say, as you say, Andy, I watched that interview with your your man Arters Emetos there, and, it, and it, 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 there was no mincing his words, were there? He was getting straight to the point and just saying, nah, you know. This is what happened, and that was it. So, yeah. Well, she's always boasting about knocking out men in sparring and stuff. So, I mean, if it's good enough for her to be banging people left, right, and centre, Matty, I suppose. And she has got that one knockout on her record. So you can well believe she's banging out men in sparring. 
Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, what evidence do we have to, to the contrary to say that she couldn't last 12 rounds with Keith Thurman and possibly win when he ran Manny Pacquiao close? I mean, that's obviously got to be the case. So, There's a good one, Matty. Do you reckon she would beat Jake Paul? No. <laughs> what about Andre August? <laughs> I think I she beat him. I mean, 50 50, 50 50. You, you, you got to be a, 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 a complete physical specimen of a woman. To, I mean, like, Ann Wolf would, 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 I dare say, say something. You but, have to be able to punch to keep the guy off you, right? Like, that's like yeah, square I mean, one, basically. It's, it's completely different, mate. It's just fucking hell. I mean, as I say, I mean, I've never seen the her, her, her man fight here, obviously, the, the, the Ukrainian, but. Just based off that left hook, the whole technique it was just perfect. And apparently, the the the, 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 the guy said, um, um, Roman Santos, Danny, I don't know if Steve, you listened to it as well. He says the the hardest thing for me as a trainer to do is to get the the, the male fighter to work. So it's just basically, did he go in there and fucking blast her out? Work with her, show her things, and try to let her work on things with you and that. And there was a couple of times she was loading up shots and that, probably fancying herself, and he decided, fuck this, man. Just put her back in their box. It harms the sparring, you know? So, um, yeah, it's just great to see, actually, because she's just went right off the deep end. Apparently, this this didn't happen recently. This happened years ago, apparently. Oh, right, okay. So Three this years ago, the, wasn't it? Yeah, oh. this is new. This 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 is this is happened way <laughs> yeah. back because um, the um, the guy who's done it, um, the Ukrainian guy, Santos has had to try and locate him in Europe. That's where he's based. He's, he said to go through contacts and try and find the guy to get in contact. Why do you do it? That type of thing. And this is what's happened. It's, it's old footage, and uh, she's then come out started with all the accusations and that. And the guy said, "Listen, that's my reputation. I've trained well. He, he trained. He think he's trained Alan Green." Um, I think he worked with Sullivan Barrera as well, and that. So the, you know, the guy, the guy's worked at a fucking, you know, a top level. And she's coming out with fucking statements like that. And, you know, that that casts fucking doubts. You know, mm. <clears throat> boxing's a fucking, you know, it's, it's a niche area. People, it's a close community, and people start talking. That could affect his fucking business. She's yeah. the right to bought them with flats, and they want to delete accusations. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Well. She'd managed to get herself on the value of the week list, so at least that's an accomplishment for her this week. Uh, anything else to add to that one, Andy, from you? That's all the ones I've got. Um, maybe just that one for her, her pal Elvis, mate. Elvis Grant, who absolutely shot himself for spitting on 72 year Is he from Grant Gloves? Is that, is that where he's this from? Is, I, I believe he's the son of the owner. Yeah. I believe. so. Well, anyway, very strange, this... wasn't it, the whole thing? I don't know what's happened again anyway, but Hopkins has got heated, man. He's wanting to go to the streets. He's wanting to take it Philly. Samson was raging, wasn't he? He was, mate. He was, he's, fucking Hopkins was getting into fucking uh, uh, Mendoza for the WBA. He's like, you seen this shit? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, fucking just incredible stuff. Like, just complete scummy behaviour, mate. Don't know what's caused it. And then one for, I don't know, I don't know if Matchroom finally followed through with it, but Son, Son Edwards was tweeting during the week in that, uh, earlier in the week, that apparently Matchroom were expecting to get him courtside seats for one of the games. Oh, basketball or something. Ah, uh, he's a basketball fan, Sonny Edwards, but I don't know what game it was. I don't know if he got his tickets. And that, he so, did get uh, his tickets. Did and they get them? Andy, and to be fair to him, Andy, if he's not in the first row, everything else would have been obstructed view. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I it would, anyway. <laughs> Did well, you, you know what I'm saying. Did, Eddie, Eddie's Welton bets before with Rob Tebbit and that, so I'm just wanting to make sure he got he got his just use that. So, <laughs> did you see the video of like they announced him over the big screen? Said that we got you know world champion boxer Sonny Edwards here, and he's like turning around and waving, and everyone's just sat there going, "Who?" <laughs> <laughs> like when Ed's like, turning. We got, got, got a special <laughs> div kid on the court, on the court right now. <laughs> Give him the wave. <laughs> <laughs> what game was it, mate? It was the Phoenix Suns basketball game, and it was, I don't know, that's pretty embarrassing to go in there and get announced as a world champion looking like a kid with cancer and get less applause than a kid with cancer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck shit. As if he thought his weekend couldn't get any worse. Any others, Andy? That's it for me, mate. I think... Um... <laughs> Enjoy a <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, hey, quickly, just oh, I scoused Lomachenko, actually, as well. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, Matty, anything from you? Please? Oh, and Chris Colbert I... getting completely... Oh, yes, yes. I, I, I think I got to stick with the Sonny Edwards-Bam Rodriguez fight and go back to all the shit that uh, 
that uh, Edwards was talking about uh, Bam being part of uh, Victor Conte's uh, snack team of, uh, of nutrients and performance uh, uh, supplements and things of that nature. And he was talking about that all week. And uh, what does Bam's team do on fight night? They all come out in their fucking snack shirts. What a <laughs> fucking troll. What a fucking troll. <laughs> Uh, Danny, have you got anything to throw in, please? Yeah, a few, few. Uh, the first one's the uh, the excellent promo video for the twenty twenty third fight night, where they're all zombies. I just think that's fucking. That was, that was quite funny. And they, they 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 really tried to stitch Frank Warren over there by sticking him in the van next to uh, um, Deontay Wilder. But then, like having Eddie Hearn's name crop up in the promo video before Frank Warren, before Frank Warren's is. So that was there. Uh, I was gonna find that quite amusing. Um, what else have we got? Obviously, um I, I quite like that um Sonny Edwards looked like um a survivor from um um a what's it car crash, and it he looked like a thingy from one thing your man's car crashes the other night. He looked, <laughs> like, looked like Errol Spencer's passenger. That's it, yeah, that's it. That's what sorry, I couldn't get my words out, but yeah, he looked like an Errol Spence passenger in a car crash. He was fucking brilliant. Um, and then yeah, that video. It, I know Big John Fish has kind of gone away a little bit, but someone posted a, a video of him in the Nutters chat saying, um, "Yeah, you know, you, you get two types of kind of big people. Some people they just you know they can't help it. You know, it's for other circumstances, and other people just sit there and eat like the kind of thing. So yeah, um, he, he knew who he was. He was he was the latter as opposed to the you know. Um, but yeah, no. Other than that, mate, no. Uh, fairly start solid week anyway. There was one. I'd actually, uh, let me see if I can get it now. I forgot to cut it. I'm just going to add it quickly. I don't know if any of you boys noticed this, but sadder that I am, whenever it was the first round, wasn't it? Colbert got dropped by yeah. Valenzuela. Uh, the cameraman thought that the fight was over and he climbed into the ring next to Valenzuela. I don't know if anybody else noticed I've this. Never noticed that, no. Whenever uh, I've just cut it really quickly here. So that's him trying to climb back out again <laughs> whenever they resumed the hostilities. He's all of a sudden he's standing next to Valenzuela while Colbert's taking the count, obviously thinking that the refs called the fight off. And that's him there on the on camera. He did, he did, he did to... do some stagger, though, to be fair, <laughs> <didn't he? laughs> Trying to scurry back out the ring as quick as he possibly could. I don't know if you, the, the fight gets ended. I know for the corner man or the promoter, obviously Eddie's the famous one, isn't he? Fought against Butte. But if the if the cameraman jumps in the ring, whether the fight gets uh, switched off, but up there you go. So that was quite quite funny there. He got out as quick as he could, the big fellow anyway. But um, right, Steve, uh, that, sorry, I yes. just just bought one more. So you know, quite often when we have a big boxing event, you get a lot of these um, MMA people come of. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to watch it, and then like obviously when it turns out to be an absolute dour fucking shit show, mm -hmm. they go, "Oh, well, this is boxing needs to be more like UFC." Well, I put the UFC on this morning, thinking, "Well, this is obviously a big fight. Everyone's talking about it." And I thought, you know, the um, Edwards fight had finished not long up, not long before it, so I thought I'll stick it on. What a shower of shit! I will mm -hmm. never be watching UFC ever again. So that's a, that's yeah. marking it one one down for UFC anyway because it was. Only. One down for UFC. Anyone who says it's as good as boxing, they're wrong. Right. Uh, Sonny Edwards and Liam Freeman got nominated. The Zone and Dillian White got thrown in as well. We've got Farage and Chisora. We have the mascot as Boxer slowly dies. We have John Fury as his reputation slowly dies. We have Royal Boxing talking about Connor Ben against Haney. Fucking We've got reputation. Connor going in on Frank, later deleting. We've got Tony, leave him alone to be in OK Magazine. Be hello next week. Uh, we've got the Wee Boxing Championships. We've got Javonta blanking Eddie. We've got Connor going in on Javonta. We've got Clarissa Shields getting dropped and uh, not taking it really well, actually, I thought. Not getting annoyed whatsoever by that whole situation. And then we have the road cameraman who got in the ring and for just, just about got out in time as to not ruin the fight. Uh, who are you going for this week, Andy? Ah, the goat, be the goat, Paul. Got to be the goat. The quote is getting the nomination from Andy. Matty, who are you going for? You know, I honestly have to go with Sonny Edwards at the basketball game. I thought that that was fucking hilarious, personally. <laughs> like, who the fuck's this guy? Right. I love to have seen that. Send, that. send that to me, actually. I love to have seen that. Actually. I completely <laughs> forgot that he would have got it. One for the quote, one for Sonny Edwards. Danny, who are you going for, please? No, oh, mate, it's a quote for me. That, that uh, Having a little video with her ranting, her hairline went back another two inches like, during those videos. <laughs> it was brilliant. I mean, fuck me. Yeah, she was having a proper meltdown, so she deserves it this week. 
Yeah, I completely agree, man. It's got to be the quote for me as well. Uh, the multiple weight world champion has accused Arta Atom Amatovs of removing padding from his gloves. That's the only way he could possibly drop the iron chinned quote that she is. She's the quote, not the ghost. Just remember that. Stay in your lane, Clarissa. Don't mess about with the men. You are the Bell of the Week winner for episode 553.